welcome back to my channel so today's video is about my hair and I want to kind of do this video and have a little fun to see if you guys can tell if this is real or if it's a wig so real quick I want you guys to leave a comment down below don't look at other people's comments don't skip through the video um, and leave a comment on whether you think it's my natural hair or do you think it's not my natural hair or if you think it's a wig or whatever kind of wig you think it is real quick okay guys so it is a wig it is a u-part wig and the hair that I am rocking today is from fashioneer she and this is a hair company that one of my friends own and it has gorgeous she has gorgeous gorgeous she has gorgeous hair and I am so obsessed with this kinky straight hair um I love how it blends with my hair my hair is I think my hair is kind of the same texture um when I plait it up to blend it but since I live in Texas the humidity is killing me so my hair gets a little bit frizzier than this hair but I love how full this hair is how lightweight this hair is and I only have two bundles of hair in my head well almost two bundles um this is the hair I'm gonna show you guys so this is how much hair I have left over um from this install um, so I basically have two bundles in. I at first I tried to make clip-ins and just clip it into my natural hair, but because my hair gets really frizzy and just like I don't know it, I don't it just fr it's like a frizz ball when it's out naturally. And trying to use this hair in clip-in, it was just was not working. So I think just making a U-part wig and having a tiny bit of my own hair out at the top for you guys to see is fully covered. And this is my hair right here. So as you can see, my hair blends really well with the texture of the actual hair. So I was really happy, but then you can see where my hair gets a little frizzy. But I don't know. I've been trying different ways to kind of blend my hair. And I finally figured out a way to get it to mimic the pattern really well and hold, keep down a lot of the frizz. So what I did to get my hair to blend in with this hair was I kept my hair dry I didn't wet it I took um I have some Carol's Daughter and it's a hair milk that helps with frizz also so I'm gonna leave a picture of it so you guys can see it um and I sprayed that in my hands and I put it through my hair and I quickly grab a little bit of my eco styling gel and I take just the thinnest amount possible so your hair doesn't revert and start curling up and I just put that on my hair and then I braid I plait it really tight but small so about this thick in width and then I leave it for a couple of hours or for overnight when I'm ready to put my wig on I just take my flat iron on a low heat and I kind of straighten my ends just a tad bit but if you have pretty straight ends you won't need to do this I have to do mine because my ends are really really frizzy and just I don't know they don't struggle mode and then I just kind of flat out a little bit the plait so that it can really hold and I know that it's going to be in place then I take it apart trying not to like pull it apart too much I take my red toe comb and I kind of just do this to my hair just to kind of blend my hair in with the um with the wig so that it's less noticeable so this is not making the hair frizzy it's literally just blending the hair into the wig and making sure everything looks nice and natural it's kind of weird because i'm not used to having this natural look but i'm really enjoying it because it's so lightweight it's so natural looking and people literally thought it was my hair and i was like okay look i have something going on and with the headband it looks so good like i was so surprised on how natural it looked when i put my hair in the headband because my baby hairs are just as natural as the as the wig so it looks just like my hair there's no issue there so I was really happy about that and the hair is gorgeous I did co-wash the hair before I put the hair before I made the actual um u-part wig um I didn't film making the wig because you guys know I'm pretty sure some of you guys know how to make a u-part wig um if not there's plenty of channels that have that i am not like a wig expert um people think i am for some reason because i can do my own wigs so i don't really kind of i don't really show you guys that because 
I'm not a wig expert. This is a trial and error kind of thing when it comes to my hair. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, and I have to redo it. But I'm thinking about maybe coloring the hair or cutting the hair. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it yet. But the funny thing is my hair is the exact same length when it is straightened as the wig. So I am going to do a video with my natural hair. And you guys will get to see how long my natural hair is. Um, it is about the same length, probably an inch shorter because I did just get a trim, but it is the same length as this hair. It's not as full as this hair because I have very thin nat natural hair. I don't know why. God just didn't bless me with the thick hair, but it's the same length and everything. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what she looks like and what I'm looking like underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and take her out. So this is what I'm looking like underneath the wig. I have my hair in these long plaits that are just going back and as you can see my hair is a little bit frizzy um it's just naturally just frizzy um but the roots are pretty good like i love the pattern that's on the roots and here is the wig this is what she looks like and this is the two bundles so it made a good amount of uh hair like the two bundles was a perfect amount of hair for this um here's the u part so I didn't do a huge U part as you can see. Let me show you guys. I didn't do like a huge U part. I literally just made it really small because I only want to take a small amount. I did add some clips in here and I'm going to also add some combs on the side because one thing I'm noticing that I totally forgot about U part was it is not secure on the sides and I don't want to put all that pressure on my hair like on you know my scalp where the clips are going to be so i am going to put some combs on the side just to secure the sides down and maybe a clip in the back but it was really easy to make really simple you guys can kind of see the hair right here but this is the hair it's such pretty hair i love it hey greg so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and pop her back on That's it guys, it's super easy to um, put on. Um, once your hair is kind of blended, if you can find a super easy, if you can find an easier technique to get your hair to blend with this hair, I think it will be a lot easier and faster. I'm still working on a better technique to blend my hair with this hair. I don't really want you to be able to tell between my hair and the extensions. So I'm still gonna work on a way to blend my hair with this hair because I really want to be that easy summer wig to wear and throw on and look super natural and I can just go by my day. So yeah, that is it guys. I will leave all the links down below for you guys to check out and check out the hair company and everything else. All of that will be down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to check with you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.